Apple mint is easy to grow and can be used in lots of recipes, including mint tea. You can identify apple mint by some of its characteristics, including a squared stem with fuzzy little hairs, opposite leaves that have toothed edges and a very fuzzy texture. Apple mint in bloom has terminal flower spikes. All of the parts of the apple mint plant are edible and delicious. So harvesting mint is super simple. I have a little apple mint patch growing right here. Um, get yourself a little basket and some scissors and just trim several of the little plants. Tips of them there. And what you can notice here is that squared stem, those opposite leaves, the toothed texture and the wooly wooly texture and all those little hairs up and down the stem there when you pick a leaf you can smell it it smells like mint and then try rubbing it between your fingers and see if you can even get even more of that minty smell so I'm just gonna cut just a few more leaves here for our mint tea Okay, now that we have harvested our fresh mint, we're going to make some tea. First thing that we're going to do is rinse off these leaves. Make sure they're nice and clean. Let those kind of drain a little bit. And then we'll pick those off of the stems. Over here, we have some water. We're going to get it to a boiling temperature of 212 degrees. I have a little thermometer on mine and we're almost there to the boiling point. We have a jar or a mug, whatever you want to drink out of, but this is nice because it has a little two cup measurement, which is what we're going to make today. So we're finishing up with the, the water, letting that boil. I'll go ahead and start picking off these leaves. And then it's as simple as pouring the hot water over your mint leaves. It's also a very simple process to grow mint. Um, it kind of will spread and take over, but if you want to save one of your little clippings, all you need to do is put it in some water and it'll take root. These have been sitting in this water for a couple of weeks. Look at that wonderful root system. Now I can just transplant those into the ground and the mint will never stop. Lamiaceae, or mint family, has over 7,000 different species of flowering and aromatic plants. Just like members of your family, you may share some of the same characteristics. Some of the members of this family are thyme, basil, rosemary, lavender, and oregano. So this mint tea recipe calls for about 10 to 15 leaves. I want to really taste that mint flavor. I'm pretty sure I have a lot more than 10 or 15 leaves. There's lots of different kinds of mint too, like this is the apple mint, and um, you can grow spearmint, peppermint, chocolate mint, so many kinds. Okay, now if you're using a stove, please make sure you are cautious when you're using hot water. Obviously it'll burn you, it's very, very hot, so if you're very young, you make sure you have an adult that can help you with this part. And I'm just going to pour this into the two cup line. Or if this was just a mug, just fill it to the top. All right. Give it a little twirl here. I already see the water turning kind of a slight green color. Do you notice that? can smell the mint, the menthol being released. Okay, so I've let this steep for about two minutes. You can let it steep longer. The longer you let it steep, the more minty it will be, the more menthol that will be released. Um, and it's cool to the touch, so I'm gonna go ahead and strain the leaves out. Um, there's lots of different ways you can do this. I have this little strainer and this adorable little teapot that my mother gave me that I want to use. So I'm gonna pour the tea in there. Um, you can also leave the leaves in there. They're edible, so that it's not going to hurt you to leave them in there if you'd like that. But I'm going to go ahead and just pour this in. Okay. Look at 
this beautiful color. Love it. Okay, now it is ready to serve. So I'm out here enjoying this tea that we just made with a friend, Jacob. And Jacob knows a lot about food science. So Jacob, why is this mint tea so delicious, first of all? Well, one, it does bring in the natural aromatic flavors of mint, which is delicious on its own. But it also offers a bit of a cooling sensation when you drink it. So that actually comes from a very long name, but we'll call it menthol for short now. And when that menthol uh, enters your mouth, it actually interacts with proteins and it confuses them. It makes them think that your mouth has dropped in temperature. So you get this very fine cooling sensation along with the actual flavor of the tea. So on a hot day, like the one we're having now, it's actually very refreshing. Cheers. Cheers.